What's going on guys? Welcome back. Uh, today, bringing you something different. So I've been talking about how I've changed my training. So today we're going to be doing some Olympic lifting. Weight lifting, not Olympic lifting because I'm not an Olympic lifter. But um, yeah, I just thought I'll show you guys um, what process I go through when I do uh, weight lifting. Today we're doing snatches which is my favourite because I hate cleans. So a lot of you know that. <laughs> Um, I'll show you how I start my session. I've already done a mobility drill, which I'm going to post a video of. Um, so before I start, I always do about a 20 minute mobility drill, full body. And first session, uh, first workout I do, as you saw, is overhead squats. And then I build up the weight. And then we'll move into a drop snatch, which I'll show you guys what that is. And then into the snatch workout pretty simple but it's not. Uh, I try and explain certain things as we go along uh, to explain why I'm doing uh, weightlifting but the main reason is just there's no there's no goal it's just I, I find it fascinating and I like a challenge and it's fitness fitness is about being able to do whatever you want and enjoying it so I found that I am enjoying weightlifting it's a challenge it's really hard. I've had to humble myself a bit because a lot of the things that I thought would be easy were very hard. My mobility was shocking when I started but yeah I've learned that being big and having so much muscle doesn't help when it comes to weightlifting. A lot of it is technique, mobility. So yeah, let's get to it. doing the overhead squat and a little bit of behind neck press. Just get comfortable having a heavy bar over your head. But some people probably don't do that. Some people just warm up and go straight into doing some snatches. I find this is an easy transition for me to get to doing some snatches. Also just to wake up shoulders a bit and to really engage my core because to do a Overhead squat, this has to be fully engaged. Hamstrings needs to be woken up. That's what I say anyway. It's probably not the proper terminology, but if your hamstrings are tight, forget it. Do you find you were quite tight from going from bodybuilding to sort of weightlifting sort of thing? Um, yeah, when I started, I couldn't do overhead squat with a broomstick. I had to start with a resistant band. I couldn't even squat down. My mobility was shocking. So that's something I had to work on. It took me a good few weeks. So now being confident in just going into the rack, taking the bar off, just squatting down. It's a work in progress, but anything. I feel like there's some weight lifters that are pretty big guys and if they can do it, there's no excuse why I can't do it. I'm talking in terms of mobility and flexibility, not in terms of, you know, snatching 200 kilos. <laughs> I find it quite difficult going from this whole bodybuilding mentality to kind of more weightlifting and more, I said, power and strength sort of training. Yeah, I mean, weightlifting literally works everything. So it's a compound movement times 10. <laughs> so squats are compound movement, deadlifts is a compound movement. But then you're combining both of them, as well as an upper body, uh, using upper body strength. 
So it takes a lot out of your energy system. When you weight train or bodybuild, it's different, you know. I always say like bodybuilding, weight training, you can walk off the street and pick up bits and pieces here and there. Weightlifting, you can't do that. It's literally, it will take you three, four weeks just to get one movement right. And what I find is when I get one movement right, another one, the movement I used to get right before, I start making mistakes on. Because there's so many things to learn, there's so many different stages. So um, a lot of this I've taught myself, taught. I use YouTube. I haven't had a coach, I'm gonna get a coach. So, um, for next year, but a lot of this is just sat, sat on YouTube for every day, watching Juggernaut Fitness. You know, even uh, Craig's helped me a bit, Team Richie's helped me a bit with my technique, but it's just been learning as I go along. So, hopefully with a professional, I'll be able to get even better. That's the goal anyway. It's hard when, I'm, I was good at weight training and coming into a different field and being the newbie. It's like seeing some of the girls just like snatching without, with ease. And I'm just there like, one, two, three. You know, so <laughs> I can't wait to be good at it though. It's, it's a, I love the challenge, so yeah. This is what well, oh, it's called a drop snatch. Uh, again, just getting used to uh, the movement, especially when you catch the bar at the bottom of the movement. Start from the squat position, jump down, push up. So uh, I think it's Klokov, he has it. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Where he puts two clips on the side of your feet. Now, if you jump too high, <laughs> you're going to trip and fall. So he puts clips on the side, and then the whole idea is you're meant to brush it to the side and jump down. Um, I tried that before, it's hard. But that's what I actually did when I started to learn how to drop snatch. Just put some clips inside of my legs, jump down. It's scary when you do that. but. Um, it actually does the trick, it helps. So now we're on to the main event, so do some snatches. So today's just a practice session. I'm not gonna go to my PB. Uh, just the whole aim of this session is to make sure I'm getting better with the movement. You look, I've got this uh, little line on the mat that I use. So whenever I land, drop the weight. If I've gone over that line, I know I've gone forward. If I land a little bit backwards, that's not too bad either. But I'm trying not to go forward too much. And that's a, one of the main things I'm having problems with. That and I, I, I tend to land on my toes a bit too much as well.
So, that was the session. Gonna go now, foam roll. I'm exhausted. So, I uh, hope you guys got a clear insight into what I do when I come in to do you know, my uh, weightlifting session. Um, I just wanted to show a different side, like I said, to what I normally do. Uh, I'm exhausted, my eyes are red. Like it, the thing with weightlifting is you're not going to get a pump but you will be drained after you know doing all that it, it, the funny thing is in the past I would feel like I need to do some weight training sessions just to make myself feel like I've done something but now I know that I need to just foam roll do some more stretching after the session um, and yeah get some food but thank you guys for watching again. I hope you found this insightful into you know, a different type of what training I do. I will be doing more bodybuilding style videos also. Um, I know for a lot of you who do CrossFit and weightlifting and also weight training, you might want to have a different type of training method that you normally would, than you would normally do. So what I'll do is um, do a series on training for every single body part um, so yeah I'm tired so I'm just waff waffling on now I'll leave a comment if you have any questions and yeah catch you all later peace out don't chalk on my hands chalk on